Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Alex here. And today I'm gonna to show you some really cool Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks that you might not know about on your phone. Now let's get right into it with the very first one. And this is that you can back up all the data on your phone even after it's already been stolen. Now this is a really important feature because even if you lose your phone, you can at least recover all of your data and transfer it to a new phone. But you have to do something first. And to do that, what you wanna do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to security and privacy, and then tap on find my mobile and make sure you have a green check mark here next to allow this phone to be found. If you don't, just tap on it and enable this toggle right here. And that's it, you're pretty much good to go. Now, if your phone ever gets stolen, you can always recover the data by going to this website right here on your browser, on your computer. And then when you go there, it will ask you to log into your Samsung account. And then once you log in, it will show you all of your Galaxy devices associated with your account and you'll be able to remotely manage them. So if you want to take a backup of your lost phone and you know you're not gonna get it back, you can just tap right here to backup. It will take a full backup of your phone and store it to your Samsung cloud so that you can recover it later and transfer all of the data to your new phone. And then once your data is backed up, if you know that you're not gonna get your phone back and it's gone for good, you can even erase the data to completely wipe all of your personal information from the phone. All right guys, this next Galaxy trick is really cool. And if you didn't know about it, you're definitely gonna love this. So you can see I'm right here in the screenshots album in my gallery app. And I have a screenshot right here of the amazon.com storefront where I'm looking up the S23 Ultra. And what's really cool is your Galaxy phone can actually recognize what website this is from. So if we tap on the screenshot, there's a button here that says go to website. So if I tap on that, you can see that it opens up my Chrome browser and goes directly to amazon.com and even searches for S23 Ultra. And now I can just start scrolling around Amazon and doing some shopping. Now what's crazy about this feature is just how powerful it is. And to prove to you that I don't already have a website loaded, you can see my recent tabs is just these Amazon ones and a few random other things. Now if I go back into my gallery to my screenshots, you can see I have another screenshot right here that I took when I was shopping, shopping for Mustangs. And now if I tap go to website through the screenshot, not only does it take me to the Mustang website, so you can see now we have this new tab here, this wasn't already preloaded in my browser. So not only did it take me to this website for Mustangs, but it even preserved all of the filters that had that I had put in place when I took the screenshot. So you can see I was looking specifically for Shelby, Shelby GT 350s in the 2014 to 2020 uh, date range with a manual transmission. And when I took the screenshot, it saved all of this metadata and it opened up that website exactly as I had it when I took the screenshot. Absolutely insane. All right, guys, now this next trick is for people who use WhatsApp as their main messaging service. You can actually add any of your chats directly to the home screen of your phone just to make it a lot easier to jump directly into a chat instead of having to launch WhatsApp every single time. And to do that, it's really simple. All you gotta do is just pick a chat tap and hold on it, then hit these three dots up here and you'll see an option that says add chat shortcut. We're gonna tap on that and then we're gonna tap add down here and you can see it says shortcut is added to your home screen. So now if we go to our home screen, it's gonna scroll over all the way to our last page and you can see it right here. Now all we do is just drag it to wherever we want. We can put it on our home page like that. And now anytime we want to go directly to this chat, instead of launching WhatsApp, we can just tap on it from here and you can see it opens up our WhatsApp group chat. All right, guys, now for this next trick, what we're gonna do is go into our phone settings, scroll down to developer options. If you don't have developer options here, go to about phone, tap on software information, and tap on your build number seven times to enable it. Now, when you go back to your settings, all the way at the bottom, you'll see developer options. Tap on it, go to the search right here, and look for mobile data always active. And you can see what it says here is always keep mobile data active even when Wi-Fi is active for faster network switching. So essentially it will just always keep your mobile data active even if you are connected to the Wi-Fi. So if your Wi-Fi ever drops, it will seamlessly swap to mobile data to make sure that you don't have any interruption. Now this is useful if maybe you do online meetings through Zoom or you have some kind of classrooms going on your phone and you're just logged in through your phone. If your Wi-Fi ever drops, it will keep all of your sessions active and not disrupt whatever you're doing. This will just keep your connection stable the whole entire time, even if your Wi-Fi drops. All right, guys, now this next Galaxy trick is a really easy way to see all of your notification history without even having to go into your phone. So you can see on my lock screen, I have these two arrows up here. And if I just drag this up, it will bring up all of my recent notifications. And this notification history goes back really, really, really far. And it's really convenient because if you swipe anything away from your lock screen, instead of having to go into your phone and go to your notification history, 
history everything is just right here for you for quick access directly from your lock screen now to enable this you will need good lock so what you want to do is go over to your good lock and then go to the life up section and look for the noti star module and then when you're in here all you got to do is essentially just enable it so it just activate noti star and that's it you're pretty much good to go and you can even go to application list and then select whichever applications you don't want notifications from and they will be ignored from your noti star on your lock screen all right now this next galaxy tip is really useful if you want to troubleshoot anything on your samsung galaxy phone maybe you want to see if the cameras are working right if the microphone is working right if the battery is healthy you can troubleshoot everything by yourself directly from your phone and to do it all you got to do is go to your phone settings scroll down to battery and device care and then scroll down and select diagnostics now from here you can go to phone diagnostics and you can see that there are 26 entire tests that you can run everything to do from your flashlight to your sim card your nfc payments your fingerprint buttons camera everything in here can be tested and we have battery status down here so let's say we want to check our battery status if our battery is healthy it will run a diagnostics and tell you that your battery is normal and the life is good and if we go back here you can see that it has passed the check and what we can do is just test everything by tapping test all and then it's saying that we already ran a test but we can restart the testing and it will run through all of the diagnostics on our phone to test everything to make sure everything on our phone is functioning as it should all right guys now moving on to the last samsung galaxy trick for the video and this one is really awesome because this is something that galaxy phones do much better than iphones and that has to do with notifications because on iphones you can choose whether you want notifications from a certain app or you don't and that's pretty much your entire choice you can just enable it or disable it but on galaxy phones you can enable or disable notifications by notification category so as an example tiktok has notifications for when you get likes when you get comments when you get mentioned when you get stitched but maybe you don't want to get notified every time you get a like just because that's kind of spammy but you do want to get notified every time you get a comment so that you can go in and reply to that person well you can easily set that up on a galaxy device and all you need to do is just tap and hold on any application that you want to customize tap on this little eye icon right there go to notifications and then scroll down to notification categories and you can see that I've already customized my TikTok notifications the way I like. So I will get a notification when an upload completes, when I get a comment, when I get a direct message or a mention, but I won't get notified when somebody likes my videos or somebody that I follow posts a video or I get new followers or just videos that uh, TikTok thinks that I might like. So this is really convenient if you really want to get down into the granular of what specific notifications you want to get from any given app but there you go guys that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something if you have any other cool tips and tricks that you think other people might enjoy be sure to leave them in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace